I, um, I was a little chilly last night, and when I get cold, my feet are always cold, and, and sometimes I borrow Doc's socks because they're nice and thick. So I went to his drawer to get a pair of socks, and these bright colors caught my eye, and I pulled out the fabric, and it was the clown suit. And you have no idea how it got there? None whatsoever. I, I think someone planted it in his drawer to, to set him up, to, to frame him. Kevin, can you think of anyone that might want to see you take the fall for the murders? I think I might be able to answer that. Uh, Victor, you know, I think the police can handle this without your help. You know, I think you need some lunch. Have us some lunch. I don't want some lunch. And if the police could handle this, they would have found the murder already. Oh, boy. Do you have one like this down at the station house? No, sir, I can't say that we do. It seems like your father's drawn a map leading right to the killer. That is precisely what I've done. Last night, you couldn't wait to get away from me. Now I see why. You want Jake Marshak, you can have him. She's all yours, pretty boy. You're the one I thought I wanted, Frank, but I'm not so sure anymore. Let me make it easy for you. I am through with you. Julie. Mary, what, what brings you up here? I was looking for you. You seem upset coming out of the rehearsal this morning. Well, I'm I'm not sure I should be performing at the nurse's ball, considering everything. My father's death, the investigation. Mm -hmm. You've handled it all with a remarkable sense of poise, but I sense there's something else. Have you noticed how strange Frank has been acting since the accident? Why? Is something wrong? He seems like a different person. I mean, Mary, one minute he's promising to take care of me. Swearing he's going to find the real killer, and then, and then it's like somebody flips a switch, and he is saying the most hurtful things you can imagine. Well, now don't take this the wrong way, but uh, is he doing this with everybody or just with you? No, he's treating everybody like this. Jake and I were discussing it, and when Frank saw us together, he got violently jealous. He said Jake could have me. Code blue, 325 East. Code blue. Hey, how are my two favorite women in the whole world? wanted to get me all alone, all you had to do was ask. Ah, oh, put your libido in park for a minute, will ya? Oh. Okay. Lucy is coming here today to go over plans for the new she's ball. I can die happy now. What does this have to do with me? Hey, don't you back out on me now. You promised me you'd help me with her. Oh, I smell plan A coming up. Lucy wants to go around accusing me of being a killer. I will show her a killer. As we all can see, the layout of the chart is very simple. Every string on the chart leads to a possible suspect on the basis of motive and evidence. But it's all just speculation. And it really is very hard to understand. You know, to me, it really looks like the web of a sort of schizophrenic spider. Well, I don't have a problem with the chart. It's actually very well laid out. Thank you, Detective. As, as, as I said just a few moments ago, after a considerable amount of study, my analysis indicates that the likely suspect... Oh, Victor, you know what I think? I, I think we really have taken up enough of Detective Garcia's time, don't you? Well, according to this chart, it seems like Kevin is the most likely suspect, if I'm reading this correctly. Well, of course, Kevin is a... You've, you've, you've thought that for some time, haven't you, Detective? You know, I would like to hear the answer to that question myself. Let's just say I'm keeping an open mind. 
That's an excellent way to approach a, a matter such as this. I hope that I haven't uh, excluded any possibilities myself. Uh, you know, there's Eve. Eve, -E, right here, third from the top. She's a definite possibility. The point of all this is that, that, that there are a considerable number of legitimate suspects. And yet, even at first glance, by far the strongest happens to be my son. I have only just realized that the longer you study this chart, the more clear you become that what is actually shown here is that someone is trying to frame my son. Uh, I'm sorry, Professor. I just don't see it. But the, the distribution curve is skewed, man. Look at it another way. I, I am down here as a suspect, but that's just to keep the, the chart complete. I didn't murder anyone. Neither did my son. The statistical sir, 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 sir. The chart is fascinating, but I got to get this down to the lab for analysis. Uh, listen, Detective Garcia, I really hope that you police get on this case and solve it before the nurse's ball, because there's nothing like a homicidal maniac to ruin a good cause. Lucy, we are doing our best. Actually, it might be helpful if you and your father came down to the station and gave us some blood and hair samples. <sighs> helpful or mandatory? <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Fine. We'll be right down. Thanks. Professor, good job. Oh, th thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Listen, uh, Doc, I have a nurse's ball meeting, but I'm going to cancel. I want to go to the station. No, the no, 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 yes. no. We'll be fine. It's just a formality. Are really. you sure? Yes, yes. Okay. Then I will just call you after my meeting. All right. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you're happy. Happy, Mark. Hardly happy. The murder is still out there. But I must admit that I am pleased that I uh, could be of some assistance to the authorities. I'm pleased you're pleased. I hope you realize that the death penalty is alive and well in New York State. So do us a favor. Keep your charts and your theories to yourself before you get us both executed. You treat me like something you scraped off the bottom of your shoe and then you waltz over here like nothing happened? I saw you with Jake and I thought it would be funny to rib you a little. You said you were through with me. That was supposed to be a joke. Don't you even know me well enough to know when I'm teasing? Well, apparently not. But what, what about the way you put me down last night? Was that supposed to be funny? Looks like someone lost their sense of humor. It doesn't sound like it was all in good fun. I have to take this call. Just for the record, we're not even close to being okay on this. Dr. Protein to radiology. Dr. You know, Julie is genuinely upset about you. Uh, you don't seem to be taking it seriously. What can I say? All the interns are hyped 24-7, and Julie is not going to relax until the quarter main is announced. She's very confused about your feelings for it. Don't you care for her anymore? I don't need advice about how to live my life from anyone. Especially not my meddling mother. Dr. Martinez, 5426. Jake, I'm telling you, DL-56 causes a dangerous increase in the amount of aggression of all of its subjects. I don't see the point of another trial. Because DL-56 is an effective treatment, Karen. Right, the aggression is a side effect. That's not a reason to stop the work. I'm not saying stop the work. But I'm not closing my eyes either to the fact that DL-56 causes more harm than good. All right, this version of it, yes, it's unstable. But that yeah. doesn't mean that there isn't another version out there that's perfectly safe. I hope you're right. I do, but I am having a hard time staying optimistic here. Do me a favor, okay? Just stay open-minded. Okay. All right. I'll try. I gotta go. I gotta go assist in a bone marrow transplant. Okay. okay. DL 56 is a long way from finished. Just don't close any doors on us. Hey, come with the door. It's almost done. Remind me never to get on your hit list. Yeah, well, Lucy's gonna regret knifing me in the back. I don't respond well to that sort of thing. It brings out my. My lower instincts. Yeah, well, you risked your life for her when you went through that whole Rex Stanton mess. I think she'd be grateful. Yeah. Not when she saw that Scott had more than just a passing fancy in me. She's like his wacko ex-girlfriend, his mother, and his guardian pitbull, all wrapped up in a cheap little dress. 
Yeah, but there's something I don't get. Lucy told Baldwin that you were a hooker, and he didn't bat an eye. So she didn't win. So why not leave it at that? Because, Ramsey, nobody treats me like dirt. I am not normally a vengeful person. <laughs> Listen, I do not roll over and play dead for anyone. I didn't do it for Devlin, and I'm not doing it for Lucy. That girl needs to be taught a lesson. Joe, can I talk to you for a minute? Come on. Uh, it's about your brother. Is something wrong with Frank? Well, Julie mentioned that he's been acting erratically. Did you ask him about it? Yeah. He denied there was anything wrong in front of Julie, and then when she left, I called him on it, and oh, boy. I mean, he just lost it. He totally lost his temper. Well, normally I'd say that doesn't sound like Frank, but... Oh, he... so you've been having problems, too? Yeah. Yeah, he's been acting like a total jerk. Well, why didn't you say something because, to well, me we don't need this. you to mediate for us anymore. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Well, then you find out what's going inside its head. Trust me, Mom. Frank is not interested in discussing his life with me or with anyone else. Frank is your brother, Joseph. And he's obviously having a hard time of it. You two have always been able to reach each other. He'll open up to you if you just give it a shot. Uh, Miss Cole? Oh, hi. hi. Um, somebody left a message for you about blueprints for the nursing oh, wall stage yes, or something? Yes, I, I was waiting for those. What'd they say? Uh, they left them in the conference room. They did? Oh, that's great. I can spread them out over that great big table. Thank you very much. You bet. Is all of this absolutely necessary? My son and I have been subjected to almost every conceivable indignity. This is a murder investigation, Professor. I gotta cover every lead. This is all because of that damn chart, isn't it? Monk, I'm so sorry. We're not here only because of the chart, Victor. We're here because someone planted that clown suit in my drawer. Maybe I could skew the results on the chart. Maybe point the finger at someone else. You're not pointing the finger at anyone, including us. Either one of us committed the murders. Absolutely not. That, 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 that process that we went through the other night with the chart was, was just an exercise. Oh. I get the brain cells going, nothing more. Do you care about me, Victor? You gave me my life. <laughs> You're my monk. Then don't show that chart to anyone else, all right? We free to go? Not yet. We're running the forensics check right now. I need you to stick around till we're finished. If that's okay with you. Fine. Goody. Lucy, right where you want her. Now, don't blow it. Not a chance. She's mine. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This is really not 
not making doorknobs like they used to. Good. Well, this hospital is going to the dog. Hello? Hello, somebody. I am sort of locked in this room. Could someone help me? Hey, how'd the bone marrow transplant go? I, it went good. I just hope that Rachel doesn't reject the marrow. Yeah, me too. Look, I, I wanted to apologize for coming on so strongly before. No, it's okay. I, sorry, I know that you're very passionate about your research, and so am I. I just should have kept in mind that you're a novice when it comes to the ups and downs of lab work. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's expected that someone inexperienced might get you know, discouraged at bad news. Uh-huh. Oh, I suppose that you're above all that? I, no, I, I just, I've devoted more of my life to lab work than you have, Karen. I, mean, I know this work better. That has nothing to do with this, Jake. DL-56 causes violent, unpredictable behavior, and it's too dangerous to use on humans. I have enough experience to know that. I gotta go check on my cane recovery. Dr. Perry for radiology. Dr. April Perry for radiology. Hey, page me? Yeah. I did. Listen, you and I don't beat around the bush with each other, right? So I'm, I'm just going to jump in here. Do I need to sit down? Frank, ever since you got out of the hospital, you've been acting really weird. And not that I expect you to be 100% after having a near brush with death, well, but... Well, thank you for your patience. But Mom saw you explode today, and she's worried about you. I'm worried about you, Frank. What is bothering you? So now you and Mom are ganging up on me, discussing me behind my back. It sounds to me like you two are the ones with the problem. Frank, look at you. All I'm trying to do is find out what is going on, because I'm worried about Mind you. your own business, Joe. I am not going to tell you again. You're acting exactly like Dad. What did you say? You heard me. Somebody looks at you the wrong way, Frank. You're ready to smash their head in. You're alienating everybody who gives a damn about when you. When are you going to grow up? And stop blaming anything you don't like about our lives on Dad. I don't do that. Oh, oh, no. You're mad at me now. All of a sudden, I'm acting like Dad. You are acting like Dad. Look at you. Your temper, your mood swings. I will not listen to any more of your whining about how bad our father was. If you didn't like the way he raised you tough, he's dead. And if you ask me, he's better off. I'm the one left to deal with this snot-nosed kid. No wonder he drank such a yeah, bull. I am the only one who can sympathize with the old man because I have had to carry you like a baby. No, I made myself your life. who I am. Oh, I you... never asked you to carry oh, me. Oh, you, you made yourself? Who put you through medical school? Who paid the mortgage your mom's house? I want to take you it a dime from you if I knew how you felt about it. Well, now you know. And what are you going to do about it? Pay me back? Yeah, right. Yeah, I have every intention of paying you back. Oh, with what? You'll be lucky to practice at a free clinic. You are a royal screw-up as a doctor. The board put you on suspension before you even started working. And, and you can forget about the quarter, man, because the board is laughing its head off that you even think that you might be considered. I was through taking your crap, and I meant it. Well, then do something about it. Aren't you ever going to learn how to be a man? Come on, Joe, come on! Let me have what you got. Victor, you're wearing a hole in the floor. That may be the only way we're going to get out of here. Garcia won't charge us with anything because we haven't done anything. Well, what's taking so long? The police are just trying to be thorough. The whole town's terrified there's a serial killer out there. They're just going by the books. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If we ever get out of here, the media are going to hear about this. More media attention is the last thing we need. Victor, stop. Just stop it. We're going to be all right. We compared your blood and hair samples to the fibers found in the clown suit. And? Kevin, we found a match. They say these cards work everywhere. Oops. Well, I guess 
Next time I'll have to get the platinum. This is ridiculous. The phone. You done so the phone. Tonight, following Soul Man and Something So Right, the Taylors are in for three shockers. First, Brad is getting married. Second, to an older woman. And wait till you hear the third on Home Improvement, ABC Tonight.